What's up guys, Dat House Dust on here. Been a while since you've heard that, because I haven't been making videos, because I kind of took a break. Not entirely from Yu-Gi-Oh, because I've still been like checking what's going on, and I'm still aware of everything that happened. I know all the new cards, all the upcoming cards, and I've been messing around with them. And, uh, I'm on Dev Pro now. I mean, I'm still be on Dueling Network, but this requires a lot less, like, editing and stuff, and I get a cool Dragon Ball background. And my sweet marshmallow on sleeves, which I think are awesome every time I set a card. Which you probably might not see in this duel, but you'll see it in future duels, and it just gets really fun. <laughs> I don't know why I like it so much, but I do. So, I don't really know how to make a montage of videos, but if I manage to do that, I manage to do that. If I don't, I don't. But I've been playing a lot with the um, three axis Fire Fist. I really like that deck. I was hoping to be able to play it for this format, because we got Leopard, and I was hoping we would get um, Chicken in Tachyon, but we didn't. And we still don't have, um, what is that guy called? The Beast Lord Vulcan. We don't have Sirius for Eradicator plays. So it's just mediocre, and I don't think it's worth it. I've tried playing with Hawk, I've played against it with Hawk, I've lost to it with Hawk, but I just don't like it. Chicken's too strong a card. And, uh, yeah. Start, <laughs> start going. And I'm playing against Infernity in this match, and he really didn't open that well. He's still playing the Synchro version, which I think is kind of meh at this point. I think the um, Xyz version's a lot stronger. So I just start off with a simple lever play and recruit into my spirit. This is a very standard game. I push really early in it when I really shouldn't have. I just found out he had this judgment. I didn't know about that. Man. So yeah, I, I use Blaster rather often in this deck because it just pops off cards, gets your level 3s in your graveyard to make spirit live. I think Blaster's amazing. And it gives you a late game after you do all your spirits and sometimes your bears. See, this is why we need cards like Blue Wolf Star because uh, Horse Prince here has this requirement that uh, no level f 5 or higher is going special summoned after it. So, yeah, it screws you over there. But if you make, like, Sirius first and then go into Rekindling plays and you're super set, and I just <laughs> went completely off on this guy, and uh, he Avengers me. Because <laughs> I forgot Avenger was a card. But I've pretty much made a field that he can't get over. So that's pretty much the end of this duel, because he'll just top deck and quit. But, uh, anyways. Um, Dead House Dust on, and uh, that's about it. If I figure out a way to make this into a montage, I'll do that, but I don't know if they'll do that. Alright, I'll see you guys. What's up, guys? Playing some more Fire Fist. And, um, I win Rekindling, so we basically know how this ends. But he's playing some sort of Poseidra Turbo, and, uh, I just go off first turn, even though I can't attack. Because you basically get nine cards. It's plus three. Like, come on. But my opponent always opens up either Heavy and or Dark Hole when I do this. So, it's no different this time, he is Heavy. And a uh, pretty solid play, now that I uh, have seen his hand. I don't know what those the big Caesar are there for, but probably play Slushy or something, something like that. So yeah, he just goes off with this Sidra play, but I've got Rekindling, and I can freeze his back row with his Bottomless. Oh wow, that's a pretty good card. Because, um, Fire Formation Gyoku, card's great. It's a searchable Night Beam. Makes MST not as necessary, but I still play Triple and a Night Beam. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> and, uh, Tensu just means I can go off without ever needing my Rekindling. And, uh, an example of why we need Beast Lord Vulcan. Because I can send that 3000 beater back to his hand, and then, uh, Rekindling for basically game. Yeah, <laughs> I just go off. Ugh, so much fun. I love this deck. I think I get exactly 8,000 damage. I kind of want to see. Wow. Yeah, I, that's exactly 8,000 damage. I'm some sort of amazing. <laughs> God, I, I like this deck. For some reason, it's still not competitive because dragons are too good. Alright, see you for the next duel. Can I just point out that I really like commentating over these um, dev pro duels because they take so little time to, per duel because they're all sped up? Oh, I love it. But, uh, I'm playing against Ninja Insector, so I didn't know it was Ninja when I was playing against it, so I just learned this now. But, uh, let's go. Opened up kinda okay. Anything with Leopard, basically you can recruit for what you need. Leopard's, like, sort of amazing. I really like Leopard. Leopard, Spirit, and Chicken are all just amazing cards. Every monster I run, like, I'm really, really happy with. <laughs> and, we need Chicken. We need Chicken so bad. Even without Vulcan... 
and Sirius. The deck's still alright, but we need it. He opens up Dragonfly Hornet, and I'm still gonna just just nut up in his face. Got nothing on me. Yeah, but the freaking Incarnate Dragon makes us a little stupid. God, he opened up pretty well. I don't know why he went for Zen Mains here. I feel like that wasn't the best play. But he really didn't have protection. He did the Solemn. Ah, oh, I get to freeze his back here with a Gyoku. Gyoku is too good. I was worried it was called the Haunted, which is why I didn't MST it. But you can't respond to Gyoku because it's too good. Oh, another example why we need Vulcan. Yeah, yeah I'm wrong. We do need Vulcan. Because look, I can recycle my Tanky next turn. I don't actually know if there is a next turn. No, I don't... I don't... I don't remember. <laughs> no, there's no next turn. Because <laughs> after all that, I only use my Tensu summon, so I still had a normal summon. That's stupid. This deck's stupid. I love it. Alright. See you guys uh, next time. Because there's a couple more of these, I think. Maybe one more. I don't know. See you then. I don't even know why I filmed this duel. I don't remember it being that good. All the... The duels with Fire Fist, the three axis one, they all end up very similar. Just going into horse prints a bunch of times, and then it depends whether I go into uh, any rank threes, and then sometimes I go into Sirius, sometimes I go into uh, uh, Beast Lord Vulcan. That card I always forget its name, but it's so standard. I don't want to do too, too many. And I already have like six. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm going to stop filming these. Mm -hmm. I already know I like this deck, but I already know it's not competitive against uh, E Dragons, so until E Dragons gets hit, this might just be a fun deck not even worth making right now because lack of good cards. I think Crystal Beast could have been so good. Why are they not? What is this card? Hmm. Huh. Sorry. But, uh, I have Rekindling again. I don't know why I filmed so many where I had Rekindling. And, uh, I did make Vulcan so I can bounce away his, uh, Field spell, because I'm pretty sure it could negate a spell trap. I don't even know if it could at that point. I just think I wanted to go for the damage. But he knew it was over. We all know it's over. That was really quick. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'll, uh, I'll see ya. What's up, guys? This is uh, the last three-axis fire formation duel. And um, not only did I not open up that well. I mean, I opened up the two one-offs and tanky. I mean, it's still an okay hand. Like, the deck normally opens up pretty well. This isn't one of the better hands, because I don't have a kindling. But, uh, this is a duel where I don't play well at all, either, so... So, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna start us off. Wow, he opens up with a lot of monsters. And just recruiting for more monsters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he makes the, uh... Standard, uh, play these. Yeah, I like the artwork on these cards. I think Constellar's are a cool deck. But, um... I have answers for play these. Get that tanky back to your hand, so you'll be able to make another one. Yeah, I make a really stupid play here, which is about to come up. I search out my- I make Zen Means. I know he's gonna make another Pleiades. I know he has the ability to, and I don't have a way to protect it. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, you know what? I thought I could stop the tanky. I didn't know he had Sombrace. Still a stupid play, but I understand what I was going for. Ugh. Still- I don't know. I don't know what, what was a better choice, but- Definitely wasn't that. <laughs> Maybe Horse Prince was better. Like, but I had the Dark Hole because I'm a cheater. <laughs> What's his back row? Oh, bottomless. Right, because he bottomless is my chicken. I was ticked about that. Oh, I like chicken way too much to be bottomless like that. It's nonsense. That's why I get a, a leopard. I think it's a leopard, right? It's not a panther still. This is how I knew he was, uh, running out of resources when he made the Omega. Because they make Pleiades as many times as they can in this deck. <laughs> and I already used my Dark Hole, so it's not even that good. Yeah, he compulses my, uh, leopard, but I'm like, yeah, sorry. Blaster's too good. That's why I filmed this one, because it's something a little bit different. It's some blaster use. Yeah, summons the uh, Stratos, which really doesn't fit into that deck, and if it was level 4, the deck would be so much better. <laughs> Maybe too good? I don't know. Maybe not. But Blaster's like, yeah, I'm the 
Now I'm into Dragon with the best deck in the game. So I basically just push for game. And, uh, yeah, now it turns standard. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, this is my three axes deck. Hope you guys had some fun watching it. Don't worry, I have other decks and I'm working on more decks, but, but yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. That was exactly 8,000 again, by the way. I'm, I'm really good at that. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.